Speaker number four, Michael Davis. Put the fun in your funk. Put the fun in your funk, Michael Davis. This is just a little infection, right? Oh, good heavens, no. 
you, you could have died. But, don't you think this is something I should have known earlier? Why didn't you tell me before? He said, Davis, please understand. I've had a very serious illness. But the entire time you've been here, you've been laughing and joking with the doctors and the staff. Frankly, we thought maybe the infection had gotten to you. <laughs> but to keep your stress down, we decided not to tell you everything until we were sure. Wise man. See, if I had known the severity of my illness, it wasn't going to help me get better any faster. It would have slowed the process down. Now, it's true, I did experience some funk in that bed, but I did laugh a lot with those two folks in the hospital. You may be wondering, what can be fun in a hospital, Mike? And if you're asking that, then I know you have never worn one of those gorgeous, full-length designer backless caps with built-in air conditioning that exposes you to everyone. Laughter did not heal my illness. But I believe it lowered my stress so my body could heal faster. Develop the humor habit. Buy books, watch comedy on TV, look at YouTube videos. And the next time you or a loved one is in a serious predicament, laughter can be like a lifeboat when you're in an ocean of fear and uncertainty. Life will put you in difficult situations from time to time, but you do not have to stay in your bunk. Whether it's a minor irritation or a serious situation, think about Yoda, Bill Cosby, and my doctor. You can put fun in your bunk if you breathe, calm down, and laugh at Mr. Toastmaster.